Welcome to Cool Gear TV. My name is Scott, and inside this little white box, I have for you an IDE to SATA converter. Let's take a look. Here it is. We have our 40 pin IDE connection that's going to connect to the device, hard drive, optical drive, whatever it may be, that you want to convert to SATA. We got our 7 pin SATA connector. We've got lights for activity. We've got a 4 pin power connector to power up this little baby. We've also got the best chipset around J Micron 20330. This also comes with a PowerY Molex connector, an internal SATA cable, and a user manual to answer all your questions you may have about this little adapter. So, how do I use this, you ask? You take the adapter, you take an IDE hard drive, let's say, pull, line it up with the pins, plug it in, and look at that, it's magic. It's, it's as if the IDE connection was never there. You're ready to power it via SATA. Let's take that out. We have a CDRW with an IDE interface on the back. Let's take the adapter, oh. line up the pins, plug it in, same as before, the SATA connection disappears. Actually, the SATA connection appears and you no longer have an IDE connection. My apologies. This is very useful for those of you with a new system and you've got old stuff like an old CD-ROM, an old IDE hard drive, maybe you want to grab some pictures or movies from 10, 20 years ago. Uh, and if your system is so new that your power supply only has SATA power connections available, we have a solution for that as well. A little adapter that goes from Molex to SATA. This can easily plug into the female Molex connector here. Line up the pins like so, plug it in, and you've got your adaptation. That's it for Cool Gear TV today. My name is Scott signing off. Have a wonderful day.